Hi everyone, it's Ms. Christine and I'm here to read you your daily book. Um, I know I was supposed to have a Dr. Seuss book today, but I couldn't find the one that I wanted. So instead, we are gonna read another lunchtime favorite, which is Do Not Lick This Book. And I think you guys all remember why. It's because germs can be everywhere and we have to be really careful about when we go and touch things and where we might be spreading our germs to or where we might be picking up germs from. Um, and that's why it's so important for us to wash your hands. Um, and I hope everyone's been practicing um, singing the songs while they wash their hands, like happy birthday, or practicing counting to 20 and uh, doing all the front and the back and in between your fingers and everything like we've been working really hard at school on. And um, I hope you enjoy the book. Do not lick this book. It's full of germs. Sorry for the shadow. This is Min. She is a microbe. She's small, very small. Can you see this dot? Microbes are so small that 3,422,167, give or take a few million, of them could fit on it. Microbes live everywhere, in the air, in your intestines, remember that's inside your body, on your sock, in Antarctica where it's cold, at the bottom of the ocean, on trumpets, and that's why we never shared instruments that get put on our mouth. They can live on elephant's knees and underground and inside of fish and even on the very tippy top of Mount Everest. And they can live in your breakfast and just over there somewhere and even up Santa's nose. So if they live up Santa's nose, remember that they can also live up your nose. Min lives in this book. And if you could look really, really closely, you'd see her. Oh, let's see if we can find her. <gasps> there she is. Oh, Min says she's bored. This is a photo of paper really, really close up. Remember, paper is made out of all the fibers that are crushed together. So when you look under a microscope, this is what paper looks like. Let's take Min on an adventure. See the circle on the next page? That's where Min lives. Touch the circle with your finger to pick her up. All right, we're gonna touch the circle and we're gonna pick up Min. <gasps> She's somewhere on there. Oh, I think I saw her a little glittery. Min is now on your finger. Oh, away we go. Where should we take Min first? Take me to your teeth. And now remember, we're just gonna pretend. Okay, let's go. Open your mouth and carefully touch the front of your teeth with your finger. Now let's look really, really closely. What a strange place teeth are when you look really, really closely. No wonder it's a good idea to brush them. Let's look. This is a photo of a tooth really, really close up. That's why it has all these little tiny bumps and grooves. And it's really important to brush our teeth so that we can get rid of all the cavities like this. This is Ray and she's a sugar bug and she's going to be digging for cavities in your teeth. And Min says, whoa, this place is weird. I'm Min, what are you guys up to? And let's see what all these funny little sugar bugs are digging. Yuck, can you smell toothpaste? Hey kid, brush your teeth less and eat more candy. Tell him, no way guys, that's not good for me. All right, it's time for Min's next adventure. Touch your teeth and pick Min up. Remember, just pretend, don't really touch your teeth. Looks like we've picked up Ray as well. Where should we go next? Min said, would you like to visit a shirt, Ray? And she says, shirt. All right, let's explore your shirt. Put your finger on your shirt and send Min and Ray on a new adventure. Now let's look really, really closely. What a strange place shirts are when you look really, really closely. No wonder they need washing. This is a photo of fabric really, really close up. 
Remember, fabric is made out of lots of fibers that are um, put together, just kind of like how uh, paper is. And so when you look, there's lots of different little threads in your shirt. And so now Min says, I'm Min and this is Ray and we're on an adventure. And nice to meet you. My name is Dennis. There's Dennis. And this little guy says, we're making this shirt smell. And this guy said, gross, I found a clean patch. And this little guy said, can you give me, can you give me a hand spreading dirt around? What's a hand? I hope we don't get put in the washer for a few more days. And that is why we wash our clothes, right? So we can get rid of all the bacteria that makes our clothes smell. Now it's time for Min and Ray's next adventure. Touch your shirt to pick them up. Dennis has come along for the ride. We have time to go uh, for one more trip. Where should we go? Min wants to know if we shall, if we sh shall we visit a belly button, Dennis? What's a belly button? Okay, off we go. Put your finger in your belly button and wiggle it about. And now let's look really, really closely. What a strange place skin is when you look really, really closely. No wonder it gets itchy. All right, and there's Min and Dennis and Ray, and they are getting to meet Jake. He says, I'm Jake, welcome. We don't get many visitors. And this little guy right here says, help yourselves to some delicious chunk of dead skin. And this little guy says, ah, ah, I do enjoy a nice drink of sweat on a hot day. And this is what our skin looks like under a microscope. You see it's actually made up of lots of different um, skin cells and it's not as smooth as we think, which is why it's important for us to wash our body. And this little guy says, did I tell you about the time soap got all the way up in here? And this little guy says, I don't like scary stories. All right, let's put our, your finger back in your belly button and pick up Min and her friends. And Min said, Min said, that was fun. Now I'd like to go back to my book, please. And Jake says, can we come? And Ray said, what's a book? Oh, wait, that's not Ray. That was our other little friend from the shirt. Let's put Min and her friends back in this book. Oh, there they are on our finger. Here's a good spot. There's plenty of room for everyone. All right, we're gonna put them right back on there. And then it says, where will you take Min tomorrow? So these are all of the microbes that we learned about today. So Min is an E. coli. E. coli live in your intestines, which is inside your body. That's where your food travels through before we go to the bathroom. Um, they're really good at spreading, um, especially if you don't wash your hands very well. That's why we always wash our hands after we go to the bathroom. And Dennis is a fungus and he um, likes to live outside and you probably got him while you're playing. So that's why it's really important to wash your hands when you come in from playing and to change your clothes a lot. And Ray is Streptococcus. They live lots of places, including your mouth. They like eating sugar and pooping acid that can dissolve your teeth, which is why it's really important to brush your teeth. And Jake likes to live lots of places, including your skin, and they're big fans of dirt. So thank you for reading our book with us today, and I hope you enjoyed it. That was the end. All right, thanks for joining me for another book. I hope you guys had a fun time taking Min and all her friends on a little adventure and uh, learning all about microbes. It's been a while since we've read that book, and I think it's a really good one to talk about every now and then to remember um, about all the different ones that live around. Remember, there's good bacteria and bad bacteria, which is why it's so important that we wash our hands, um, we cover our sneezes and our coughs, and we use tissues and not our fingers. Um, and uh, that way we can all stay nice and healthy and um, get to see each other again really, really soon. 